saint. Righteous bondage. Greetings to the Arc Saint here, and this is my review of Carrion. Picked it up on a sale, and I ended up beating it in, I would say, under six hours. Uh, it's not a very long game. There's really only one game mode, uh, no multiplayer. Uh, it comes with a free DLC, which is uh, kind of like a Christmas themed map. Doesn't take too long. I also beat that. Uh, that one's way shorter. For for what it is, I, I I enjoyed it. It's not really what I expected, given the you know the advertisement of being a reverse horror game where you play the monster. But at its core. Carrion is a puzzle game, and so if you don't like puzzles, you won't like this game. And if you don't like backtracking, you're, you're not going to like this game either. There's a lot of backtracking, uh, there is no in-game map, and I just have this ability to memorize game levels, so it, it wasn't that big of a deal for me. I got lost one time for, I don't know, like 20 minutes or something, <laughs> but I eventually found my way. Movement with the mouse is is pretty fluid. Uh, your left click moves you around. Your right click grabs stuff and people, uh, which you can pull and, and consume. Uh, your your Q and E buttons do special stuff. That and the tab key, are pretty much all you need. I, think, I don't know if the space bar did something. I think space bar does something something as well. Um, controls are pretty simple. You you end up going through different forms. Eventually, there's three different forms based on how much biomass you consume, and you get bigger and bigger. Uh, the, obviously, the first form you're the, you're the fastest. You got more, um, I think, a stealthy type type of abilities, and there's not really uh, too much of a story to the game, even though there are some flashback portions where you take control of uh, a human for for a short. But I didn't really get a whole lot of story from that. I think that's just about where they found the uh, the carrion creature or, or samples or something. I don't know. Won't spoil the ending, but there's the ending is not really all that great either. It's kind of expected. Really what, what kept me what kept me interested uh, was seeing how your your creature would would uh, constantly mutate to get new abilities. I thought that was really cool. But Again, at its core, it is a it is a puzzle game. So you're going to come across <clears throat> um, obstacles in your way that you're not going to be able to pass until you get a uh, like a bio canister type thing. That you got to locate throughout the game. There's a whole bunch of them, and they give you different abilities that let you get past um, previously impassable uh, areas. Which again means you're going to have to do a lot of backtracking through the levels which I, I did not like. I don't like backtracking. Uh, I want to complete everything in the area, then move on. But uh, that's just me. I did a first impressions with the uh, the demo, and the demo portion actually isn't in the game, if I'm not mistaken. You can access the demo from the main menu if, if you want to give that a go. But you can actually die pretty fast from even handguns, depending on what stage of, of the creature you're in. And the controls are pretty easy uh, once you get the hang of it to uh, to grab people, throw them around, and use your special abilities. The problem I was having throughout the game was um, forgetting which form I was in and and using the wrong special ability because because each form has different specials. So um, I would be in a fight and I, I would lose biomass, and then I would go down to the previous form and I would try to do a special ability, and it would be the different one. And, that's uh, something I have problems with, but it's kind of hard to pay attention when because because fighting is really chaotic in the game. You can die really fast. You don't feel too much like a horror monster in the in the stealthy aspect. There are some areas where, like their bathrooms, will be people on toilets and they they won't have any weapons or something. You kind of sneak in there, but for the most part, you're like a rampaging glob of death. You're like a, there's a D&D monster that looks just like the the carrion. There's also a, a Lovecraftian 
god that I I can't remember Shig or so I can't remember his name. Um, he's just like a swarming chaos or something. <laughs> Reminds me of the the carrion monster in this game. So I think people wanted more of the of the stealth aspect. I haven't played any kind of community made stuff, any mods, so I don't know if somebody made something more akin to that, where you're sneaking around more and uh, kind of more like a like alien from Alien. But it is satisfying to, to hang up on a ceiling and then reach down and, and grab somebody, pull them up into the, all these teeth and, and just devour them. There's some, there's some pretty cool moments in this game. Uh, all that stuff's done really well. There's a lot, of, a lot of blood, a lot of gore. That's always a plus in my book, so... This is kind of a tough one to review. I, again, the, the backtracking, the lack of a map, and really lack of a, of a story, and yeah, I, being strictly a puzzle game, uh, those things would be my negatives. So I would probably give Carrion, I don't know, maybe like a 7 out of 10 or something. I'd recommend it uh, on sale. That would be my, my final judgment for the game. But... Um, as far as replayability, I don't see myself playing this uh, again. It, it's only like like 130 megs or something like that, so it doesn't take up too much space on the computer. Yeah, so yeah, that's my uh, that's my thoughts. That's my review on Carrion. Um, don't do a whole lot of reviews on this this channel. Just do like impressions. So thought I would get another review out there. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, may the Lord be with thee.